So there's the old one with the cracks and the corroded ports. And uh, here is uh, one from MD2B, same as my engine. But what I've noticed is Volvo made a design change. They went from the small coolant ports to the slots. That is why that's coming out the top of each cylinder. So in through that hole, around the cylinder, and then back out through that, that hole and through the thermostat and out this pipe over the exhaust. But that's the critical holes that come from the T-piece, so this is an elbow. We'll swap the T-piece over. Out of there and out of there, into the cylinder. Of course, with mine completely blocked and the internal ports inside blocked. You weren't going to get much flow through that anyway, you just get a screwdriver in. But as you can have these two around the cylinder and then back out. Free, no restrictions. So I've connected the hose up. Let's have a look at this one and this one. This is the critical ones to get the water into the cylinder heads. So I'm just going to turn. I'm just going to turn. There we are. Look, look at that straight away. Look, out of the two, out of the two ports. That's brilliant. So it shows that the waterway between that port and that port from the elbow. Is nice and clear, which I expected because I was uh, told that this cylinder head's only ever been used in fresh water, and internally, all the holes and everything uh, indicates the same uh, as did the exhaust elbow. So we're very happy with that. So that proves they are clear, and uh, we'll put some water through here now and see what that does.